religion is called Sanatan Dharma. Sanatan means the eternal religion of the soul. So it's not based on one kind of doctrine because it's an eternal religion just based on the soul. It has nothing to do with, uh, you know, like a temporary situation. This, uh, this religion is based on learning how to cultivate love for God. In uh, Christianity, Jesus says to love God with all your heart. And then 500 years ago, God came himself to teach us how to love him. Because Jesus said, love God with all your heart, but he didn't give all the, all the details. He just gave a general sketch. The Lord himself came, his name is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He came 500 years ago, and he taught the, the practical way to love him. And the, the easiest way to love him, just like it says in Christianity, hollow or holy is the name of God. So the Lord came to teach how to love him by, by praying his name or chanting his name. So our religion is based on always remembering God and never forgetting Him. And the way we do that in this age is to always chant His name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. All religions teach that the name of God is very high in esteem. Even in, uh, in Islam, they, they call it zikring, where they chant Allah, 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 like this. And in Christianity, they have rosaries and they chant the name of Jesus. Our, our books are, are based on God's teaching. We, we call our, the body of our information is called the Vedic, Vedic uh, paradigm or Vedic information. And the main two scriptures that we adhere to, the Bhagavad Gita, and uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. Each religion has its own set of scripture. Uh, these, these two particular religion, uh, books were spoken by the Lord himself. In like Christianity, someone said, you know, or it was said that God said like this, but in our books, God himself is, is telling, oh, this is the way I want you to love me. First, you, you, you offer water to me. Whatever you offer, you offer with love and devotion, and I will accept it the same way. So our, our, our system is based on learning how to develop a, a loving relationship with God and, then, and all the, service, the service of God, because everyone is a servant of God. The way I describe God is he's the most beautiful personality. He's all attractive. You know, why is he all attractive? Because he has six characteristics. He's full of beauty, he's full of knowledge, he's the most famous, right? The most renounced, the most beautiful, and uh, He has um, a thirst to want to love us and, and for us to love him back. This is God. He said, he's so beautiful and he's so loving. As soon as you see God, then you want to serve him. This is the definition of God given by Jiva Goswami. That as soon as you see the Lord, you immediately want to give your heart to serve him. Well, the, the word religion actually means to, to link with or to yoke with God, like yoga. It means to always be with God. So it affects our lifestyle because our lifestyle is more is more full now because that missing element, love for God, is also there. So we can incorporate that in our life every day. So we, when we cook, we're thinking of God. When we sing, we're thinking of God. When we work, we're thinking of God. And we're remembering his instructions and his love for us and for all other living entities. So it makes our life more full because we, we know we're loved and protected. No meat eating, no intoxication, no illicit sex or sex outside of marriage or procreation like this. So we, we try to follow this and by doing this, it, it gives us a sense of uh, compassion for other living entities because we don't have to kill anything. It makes us feel, you know, like cleanliness, cleanliness is next to godliness. So by following these tenets, we can develop uh, within ourselves love, affection, compassion like this. In other religions, they're saying, yes, love God with all your heart, but they don't show how to do it. In this religion, God himself is telling them how to love me, how to love me. He's coming to show. First he said in Bhagavad, Bhagavatam, and then he said in Bhagavad Gita, you know, shut up, you know, to, to love me with all your heart. But then he came back to teach us how to do it. He says, how to love me? First, you love my representative, my agent. 
and then he'll teach you how to love me. And you can follow my instructions, chant my name, rise early, meditate on me, cook for me, offer me food stuffs, but with love. So all these things God himself is coming to teach. So you have a direct experience or realization in the heart that this is really happening. Mm -hmm. It's not like someone saying, do it, but you don't feel anything. As soon as you come aboard and try to follow the tenets of this particular system, you'll feel it within your heart, just like all those people that you just witnessed. They were all happy. Did you see anybody frowning? They were all happy. It feels like so satisfying to the heart to try to love, learn how to love and serve God because that's our only business. As his parts and parcels, we're his eternal servants. And uh, the best way to feel happy is to make him happy. By making God happy, we automatically become happy. Do you see all these plants here? What happens to them if you just try to water the leaf and not the root of the tree? What would happen? It would die. So the root of all existence is God himself. So the more we try to serve and love God and, and make him happy, then automatically we become happy. So that's the difference. And we all can feel it every day, every day, every day. I've been doing this for over 43 years. And every day it's more exciting. And I feel you know, more happiness and more satisfaction in the heart. And I'm very grateful for all of our teachers who came to introduce us to us. The more I follow this system and follow the instructions that the, the agents or the teachers are giving, then the more my faith increases and the more my appreciation for this system in, um, grows. The more I feel that God, if I take one step towards God, he's taking 10 towards me and I can actually experience it and feel it. Like Srila Papa used to say, if you, if you love me, I will love you back. So that's so important because that's what everyone's lo looking for. We're looking for love and we're looking for, you know, nourishment, we're looking for contentment, happiness, all these things. And if we just try to be happy with material items, we'll never be happy. How many people have rich situations they have all the cars and all the money and all everything and they're still not happy because it doesn't satisfy the soul 